You know, it's hot and dry even by East Texas standards, and when we get into this kind of situation in the summer months, you see these ponds like this one, and the problems are really amplified. Uh, the ponds that show the problems first and foremost are those that either have very small watersheds, that is, too small an area where runoff actually feeds the pond when it does rain, or those ponds that were built on suspect soils, those ponds that don't have enough clay content, and even when it does rain, those ponds lose their levels. That's an important concept for landowners to remember, particularly if they're watering livestock or if fish are an important recreational use of that pond. You know, obviously all ponds in East Texas are not this low. This is an extreme case, but there are ponds across the state of Texas that do have these low water levels as we enter this dry period. And uh, fish are a primary concern to many pond owners that are interested in recreational management of these ponds, well over a million of them found statewide. Certainly when pond levels reach this point, I hope you've done something about your fish populations by the, this time, hopefully harvested them out. But uh, as our ponds drop in water levels throughout the warm months, we really need to pay attention to the standing crop of fish present. And in any case, we want to avoid trying to carry more than 1,000 pounds of fish per surface acre during the warm months. That's strictly because as water levels drop in the summer, that water becomes warm, and warm water holds less oxygen than cooler water does. So those fish become crowded. We have a number of water quality issues, first and foremost oxygen problems, and so it behooves the landowner interested in managing that pond, particularly in light of dropping water levels, to check that pond carefully and make sure those fish do not become too crowded in the water that's left. That 1,000 pounds per surface acre is a good rule of thumb. Uh, if you're concerned about oxygen levels and suspect that they may be dropping on you to the point you could lose fish, go down to that pond at daylight and check. If those fish are up at the surface at first light, that's a pretty good indication that the fish are crowded up and or you've got oxygen depletions occurring. And at that point, you either need to harvest the fish or supplementally aerate that water with a pump or a boat motor just to get you over the hump and get you through that immediate emergency in order to get the oxygen levels up for your fish that are left. You know, this is more of a typical pond situation that we have in the summer of 2011 in East Texas, uh, where you have the pond levels drop maybe a foot or so throughout the course of the summer. Those ponds that have good clay content, those ponds that have good watersheds are most apt to be able to hold their water levels a little more stable, whether it be for recreational purposes such as fishing or for livestock watering, perhaps both. So pond owners are advised during the hot summer months just to watch their fish populations, particularly if you're raising high densities of catfish in these farm ponds, say, a thousand pounds per surface acre maximum during the summer months and just watch as these water levels do recede and temperatures climb that you don't have oxygen depletions occur and you lose that fish population.